The forgetful Bellini did the right thing. The terrorist attacks of Wolgwen Yu were to be prevented. So they were prevented. It's fair to think that Seal will be completely destroyed by this incident in the original comic. I also turned on the broadcast to check on Wolgwen Yu and attract Agro at the same time, in order to prevent the atmosphere from becoming bleak due to the fear of Wolgwen Yu throughout Korea after the Seal terrorist attacks like in the original and I made people see Wolgwang Yu as nothing. I mean, it's just Wolgwang Yu that was defeated by an Atlas villain like me kind of like this kind of plot that I intended. And Moon Shaman, Baitlin Wool, as I shed tears when she died in the original. I was also going to save her unconditionally. Also, since I'm saving her, I'm putting her into the villain union that I founded. Even if the appearance this time was reinforced by magic circles, it was basically quite necessary to recruit her with various magic abilities such as attack, illusion, et, all the more, except for me. Electra and Death Knight are the only two who have power in our ego stream, and, of course, stroking Stardust head there well. Yes, it may not have been necessary actually, but I couldn't help it. I saw with my naked eye that my favorite was having a hard time falling down and who wouldn't be able to stand out in that situation. It was a force majeure. Well, I've already done that to her many times in the first place, so I don't see the problem here. I did same thing during the train attack, the same during the plane one. Should only be annoyed anyway. I hacked into a few photos there and erased them all, so I solved them without leaving any evidence. As a result, it's concluded that I have done nothing wrong. Who can throw a stone at me? Although there was a problem with my image being slightly improved among the public, it won't disappear after a few more attacks, there's no problem. Sylvan scolded me in a serious tone, Daven. It's because I'm worried. What if Stardust finds out who you are? You said it yourself. You said Stardust had to continue to antagonize you, as you, or it would be a vain effort. It's not strange that Stardust always suspects you when I see you doing things these days. Sylvian talked in a serious voice. Then I told her with a smirk, Sylvan, I know what you mean, but you don't have to worry about that. Why? Stardust has a strong conviction, with her personality of not forgiving injustice. I can't look nice because I'm already doing all the injustice in the world, of course. Come to think of it, it did seem fishy last time, last time. With this, I paid off my debt, right? The image of her hugging me while that overlapped in my head. But it's just that she can't live in debt. It can't mean anything else. I doubt it. Anyway, no more talking about this. Let me take a break, too. I had a hard time piercing through that storm. Flinch when I mentioned the storm. I felt Baik Embul sitting next to me startled. Sorry, no. It's nothing to apologize for. Don't mind. I looked at Baik Embul next to me. She put away her original shaman suit and changed into a fluffy t-shirt. Fluff since Sujin is in front of her. The two are similar in height and their hair is white and black, so they look a little like twins. Shares the exact opposite of what the other looks like. Come to think of it, Sujin and her are similar in age, so they really look like twins. For your information, since Baik Embul came to our home, Sujin and she quickly became close, at first. There was no one in my house who was similar in age to Sujin, but Bai Kian Wu, who came this time, seems to have gotten close quickly as she is the only one who is similar in age with her. Of course, Bai Kian Wu is still not talking to Sujin informally, saying that she uses honorifics to everyone. But why are you sticking to Daylin like that? I can't stick around him, no. It's not that you can't, but Daylin might bother him, really. Really, Dayden? No. It's okay. He said it's okay, Hemph. Are you sure you two are close? Eh, anyway, Bait Embul quickly adapted to my house and got familiar with it. There was also a happening where she cried when she saw everyone warmly welcoming her after staying at the cold Wolgwang Yu. Anyway, since she has lived only in a dark place like Wolgwang Yu, she's easily moved by small things. For example, when she looks at this meal time. What's this? It's just omuris. How does it taste? I made it. It's good, right? Sub. Hey, why are you crying? Don't cry, see. Did you make her cry, see? I'm disappointed. No. Why is everyone doing this to me? It doesn't taste that bad. 
It was okay for me to eat, Sniff. No, it's just that I've never tasted something so delicious. What the hell did they feed her at Wolgwang Yu that made her burst into tears with just one on her wrist? Anyway, since then, a strange campaign has been held to feed Yin Wu. Feed Yin Wu. From rice to soda, chocolate. If her eyes sparkle every time we give her something, it makes us want to feed her. Is this how grandmother feels? Of course, Yin Wu wasn't just cute, Yin Wu. What you can use is the attack magic you showed me last time, and also the illusion magic, right? Yes. For example something like this. Having said that, she waved her hand and made a magic circle in the air and immediately summoned a deer. He looked like a real deer, but I couldn't say it looked very real. Of course, when I touched it, it fluttered into purple powder. That's amazing. Inwul smiled. She liked it when I complimented her. <laughs> Attack magic. Illusion magic anyway. Magic looks useful at first glance. Basically, I'm just glad we finally have a powerful addition to our party. Just like that, I got back to my daily life. Yeah, I crushed the main event. So I need to have some peaceful time and oh, what's going to happen, Dagan? What are you doing? Oh, oh hey, Inwool. And that night, Inwool approached me, leaning against the veranda, and looking at the moonlight shining on the rainy night sky. Just... I was looking at the scenery for a while. Do you want to watch it with me? Yes. I patted Inwul, who sat right away after my invitation and looked up at the sky with me, and I fell into thought again. What will happen in the future? I stopped Wolgwang Yu from destroying Seul, which was the main event of the original as a result. Unlike the original, Seul wasn't destroyed in this world. From now on, and this is likely to change the future I know, the original comic. In the original, Baked Enwul died only after Seal was destroyed. Eventually, the capital would be temporarily designated as Busan, avoiding the devastated Seal. And this is a golden opportunity for Lee Seula, who is the influential person of Yusung Enterprise based in Busan and has the ambition to conquer Korra. For a while, the capital is temporarily designated as Busan, and major government offices and companies, including the president, are recruited while they come down to Busan. Politicians conciliate, corporations take over. By the time the reconstruction of Seoul ends and moves back to the new Seoul, more than half of South Korea will fall into Lee Seul's hands. And this future was lost because I protected Seoul. In other words, Lee Seul's black secret plan in Korea will come slower than the original. Actually, this is not the problem. The biggest difference from the original is that the people who were supposed to be dead didn't die. Moonlight Shaman, Baked in Wool, had originally died in Seal many times in dozens of attacks. attacks. Especially from the fourth terrorist attack, she gave up. But this time no one died. In other words, these are the biggest butterfly effects. Who knows if any of these will be future terrorists. Fury let out a sigh in relief. Yes, from now on. I have to be prepared to go against the original, most of what happened in the original will happen. But now you have to be prepared for what didn't happen, there's Wolgwang Yu. It's also necessary to pay some attention to the leader's moves, because I cut off the original aggro, of course. I guess it's most likely that he doesn't care. In the first place, he has the greatest desire to call out God by creating a portal connected to his world. So he, he treats everything he follows as superficial. But just in case, I should be prepared for what I'm going to do. Lee Seuler, Future, Wolgwang Yu. I need to be careful with these three things. What? There's something like that. I patted Bai Kien Wu's head again, who was looking curiously from the side, and recalled, Lee Seuler, Future, and Wolgwang Yu Bridge. Wait, Lee Seuler, did I call Lee Seuler? Suddenly feeling chilly. I turned on my phone and went into the phone record to call Miss Sidley Sealer. I uh, am fugued. What's wrong with you, Ian Wool? How would you feel if someone chewed on what you said times? Um, you'll be angry, right? Right? Yeah, I'm fugued. I hurried and dialed her number. It's a bit late, but for now, I don't know if she's still waiting. It's raining like it's going to poke a hole in the sky. Night in Busan, on the top floor of Yusung Enterprise, in the president's office, rare, boom, the lights were off, only thunder, the phone was ringing loudly through the sound of rain, ring, ring, flash and at the moment lightning strikes, and the dark office lights up for a moment, 
A woman sitting quietly there alone was seen, with one's hands folded and placed on the desk sir sitting quietly and looking at the phone. You're late, Baden. You're late, Baden. <laughs>